guys today i'll be giving you a detail about the z buffer also known as the depth buffer okay you can in depth go through the textbook so i'll be giving you i'll be covering up only for the exam point of view okay uh, z buffer uh, till now we have learned the two dimensional figure figures like x and y positions with uh, it may be a square rectangle or anything else with two dimensional axis x and y okay we write it using right pixel of x comma y which represents the coordinates okay uh, coming to the z buffer uh, if we need to represent anything like three dimensional we need z buffer z axis is the main so we could represent the three points and just extend it we will get a 3d model okay we have a frame buffer and a z buffer in the z buffer the frame buffer the frame buffer is used to store the x and y value uh, as well as the color uh, which will normally be indicated as zero because it's rgb red green and blue okay mm, we write it something like this right pixel of x comma y comma color in the frame buffer okay it can be something like the x axis 15 20 on 0 or anything anything but within the limits everything is stored in the frame buffer except the z value so we use z buffer to store the z values only the z values okay now consider x y and z we have an object over here and one more object over here okay this is 0 comma 0 in if you have to show this in the 2d model 2d graphically it will be representing as something like this okay but taking this as a 0 comma 0 it will be representing as this you need not want this figure's z value to be stored so we use we if we have only one figure we can take the z if we have only one figure we can take the z value of this thing like we can store it as 0 comma 0 if we store this and we need to also represent this this figure consider a and consider b this figure we need this z value it may be um like so uh, okay any value take any value and store it here in the z buffer this will be erased so that this this is upon this object b is upon object a so we need not want z axis of the uh, object a which appears something like this mean we need only z axis of this 
Calridoid Okay Object A Now Object B Object B And This is Object A this is object A. The computer shows only this. This object B, which is overlapping object A. So there will be no possible way to show A because it's already overlapping on the uh, object B. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain you the pseudo code for Z buffer. I have already written the pseudo code for Z buffer. Let me explain you this. Okay, these are the loops which should be made, uh, less than maximum, less than. Okay, this is to write the. Uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is the BG is the color okay x and y or uh, this is to be stored in the frame buffer okay for each polygons projection for each polygons projection uh, uh, frame okay for each pixel this is to draw the polygon we are doing this uh, pz is a z value at the pixel this is to be stored in the z buffer z buffer pz okay colors polygon pixels pz write z which will write the z axis okay uh, this if, this if condition is because whenever there is an object above the like it's overlapping on another object here it the execution comes over here and again it's cleared and uh, the z value is stored in the buffer buffer okay this is the plane equation x plus by plus c plus z d is equal to 0 okay let's take it as z z1 is equal to shifting all these to the right side we'll be getting this and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, here, yep. As we know that x is equal to x plus de delta x. Substituting x here, we'll be getting this, uh, and um, multiplying it inside. Okay, uh, and this is z one. So let's consider this as z one. Okay, z one. And z is equal to z1 minus de uh, a delta x by c. Which here um, there is something wrong in here. Okay. What are the disadvantages of the algorithm? In the frame buffer, the value can be repainted. It's expensive. Okay. Thank you guys. This is my first video. Like, comment and any suggestions please be frank in telling those things and uh, i will be continuing this next post as much as possible thank you guys